Coming up on MHS 1. A lucky girl finds her morgue date. We spotlight a teacher at MHS that's into swing dance. And we learn about a downtown record store. And it's all coming up on MHS 1. Good morning, McKinney High School. Today is February 19th. I'm Devin Field. And I'm Nick Limbo, and you're watching MHS One. With more coming up, Student Council has made changes to make this year's dance better. Here's Devin Field, Arouj Qureshi, and Chelsea Villarreal on more changes. McKinney High School's Morp 2016 will be introduced in changes in food and venue. Morp is going to be at the Sheraton in McKinney. It's going to be February 27th from 7 to 12. Um, the venue is much different from the Plano Civic Center. It is much nicer. Um, that's probably the biggest change. The second change would be uh, food. This year we're going to do a three course meal. Um, it'll be dinner rolls and a salad as the first course. Um, and then we'll have a stuffed chicken with parmesan crusted mashed potatoes as the main course. And then dessert is going to be strawberry cheesecake um, or German chocolate cake. Um, and they'll have both on the tables for the students. Make sure to buy your Morp tickets. This has been Devin Field, Arouj Qureshi, and Chelsea Villarreal reporting for MHS One. Two students at our school had the opportunity to study in another country. Here is Mary Catherine Shepro and Amy Wynn with this unique opportunity. Allison Tinglove is a current junior who is graduating early to spend her senior year in Europe. I'm going to be a foreign exchange student in the French-speaking region of Switzerland for the 2016-2017 academic school year. I'm going through Rotary International and I decided in September that I wanted to do this and that's when I started the application process and I finished it in November. So it was really long and uh, uh, really stressful. I cried at least like five times. And then I found out just here in the past two weeks that I was going to be an exchange student. And that was really awesome. Uh, I had to get a physical. I also had to uh, get my teeth checked. And then I had to write a three page essay about myself. And my mom also had to write a two page essay. In Switzerland, they eat a lot of cheese fondue. It's like a huge dish there. So I'd like to see how that's different from our cheese fondue. And then I'm also just excited about walking more, uh, using the train. They use a lot of trains there, so I'm really excited about that. And I'm excited about being like 30 minutes to an hour away from France. Mickey Billiou, a sophomore, will also be a foreign exchange student next year. I'm going to Germany for the 2016-2017 school year uh, through Rotary International. Uh, so with Rotary, I've been with Rotary, well, maybe five years old. I always hope to help with the flags. We had to place them around the neighborhood, you know, post them next to all the mailboxes. I decided I want to be an exchange student the summer before seventh grade year. Whenever we were heard, I had heard that we were hosting our first exchange student, Julian. He was from Germany. Um, that was really interesting because, you know, we got to, he was like a big brother to me. Uh, you know, I scheduled all my classes. I took a couple, you know, high school classes during middle school. And I started learning German last year. And what I'm going to do is usually become fluent while ever you're there. And I'll come back and I'll do a credit by exam. And, you know, I'll be fluent in German. I'm most excited about going to Germany because, well, A, they have a ton of ice cream parlors there, like on every street corner. So, you know, that'll be really good. And B, snow. There's snow everywhere in the south of Germany. The biggest thing that I miss about America is probably Whataburger and my mom, and my dad, and my, the rest of my family. This has been Amy Huynh and Mary Catherine Chaparro reporting for MHS One. Nicole Susie has a chance of finding a morph date with one of four lucky guys. I wonder who it will be. Here's Johnny Miller in Dublin Field with the dating game. My name is Nicole Stussy. I'm 16 years old, and I've never been to a high school dance. All I want is someone to hang out with. I just hope my date doesn't leave me like Zane left One Direction. I think I would be a great date because I'm great with all living things. I've caught plenty of fish in this pond, but unfortunately I've had to throw most of them back. I'm ready for this journey, and I hope the guys are here for the right reasons. Not every princess rides in a carriage, and I need a prince to ride with me. I'm trusting the MHS1 crew to find me the perfect morp date. I don't know who I'm going to be taking, but that's why I'm here. Contestants answer five questions to see who will be my most compatible morp date. The hottest member of One Direction, you know, that's just a real tough question because they're all just so dreamy and perfect. 
But I'd really have to go with the, my fellow Blondie, uh, Niall. The hottest member of One Direction is Zayn. I would probably have to go with Harry Styles, just because he's the cutest. Personally, I'm more of a Liam kind of guy. The hottest member of One Direction would have to be Harry Styles. He's just so beautiful and I love him. I think it would be really cool if uh, Nicole hopped on my skateboard and we just, we just rode to more. I, I'd really like that. A horse-drawn carriage. Probably oh, have a limousine roll up and like on their, like uh, at their driveway, and then have someone like come up and escort them to the car, and then we would drive away. I'd pick up Nicole in my car, and we would listen to the Britney Spears CD, and we'd stop at McDonald's on the way, and then we'd go. To my perfect ride to Warp would probably be a horse-drawn carriage because I love horses and I, just, I am a princess, so I deserve a horse-drawn carriage. You know, I might just wear all black so that she stands out. I think, I think that would that'd be good and very, it would compliment her. Gray. A gray tie. Yeah, like a white tie with like, like a small pattern on it. Green. We're gonna go with green. Well, obviously my date should wear all black because I need to stand out and he's just part of the background. So it just makes sense for him to be in all black. It's been real. It's been fun. But it hasn't been real fun, I'm sorry. Finally. I'd probably walk her to the door and then escort her in and say, I'd probably ask her if she wanted to stop at McDonald's again. I would have to say he should say it's been real, it's been fun, but it hasn't been real fun because I always tell people that so clearly this guy must know me really well. The perfect slow dance song would be anything by Fetty Wap or anything I can whip to. That's, that's my definition of slow dance. Marvin's Room by Drake. I'd probably have to go with Wonderful Tonight. Totally Eclipse of the Heart by Bonnie Tyler. It's just so bad that it's good. I'd say Marvin's Room by Drake because it's a great song and it's so emotional and it'll really capture my feelings throughout the night. Well, I'm not a dad, but if I had a kid, or if I found some kids, I would say something along the lines of, I'm hungry. Oh, hi, Hungry, I'm Dad. What time did the man go to the dentist? 2.30. Out of those dad jokes, probably the 2.30 one, because I think it shows real creativity. Like, the hi, Hungry, I'm Dad. Like, yeah, any dad can say that, but not any dad can just come up with a dentist joke like that. Oh, yeah. I'll see you at Mort. Now here's Allison with sports. On Tuesday night, the Lionettes basketball team played Little Elm in the first round of playoffs but fell short. And the Lions basketball team took on the Denison Yellow Jackets and would be continuing in playoffs. The boys soccer is ranked first in the district. Here's Johnny Hobart, Brandon Fangio, Aiden Mulligan, and Landry Amick with more. Poised to come back from a rough 2014-2015 season, the Lions varsity soccer team is sitting atop district with a 6-0-1 record. I think experience and chemistry is really paying off this year. And you know, we stayed in the hunt, very last game of the year. We had a chance to make it, didn't work out. And that, that kind of sting of not making the playoffs for the first time in 11 years for our program um, stuck with the guys. A lot of pride um, in the locker room and out on the field. And uh, it's just paying off dividends uh, with us and, and validating a lot of things that the guys talked about and dedicated themselves to. We wanted to have a, a winning pre-district season uh, and we had that, only one loss. want to have a, uh, a, a, a 10 or more wins this season. You know, the last two years were just nine wins each season and the guys have already met that with 12 wins. I, I know there's, it's a marathon, there's, there's peaks and valleys in a season, but um, the, you know, the talent that we field in our starting lineup and you know, the depth that we have uh, contributing off the bench there gives us a lot of confidence in the team being able to 
uh, possibly achieve some special things this year. The boys take on the Wiley Pirates tonight at 7.30 in Wiley, where they look to continue to be unbeaten in district. The Lionettes soccer team is facing off against Wiley at 7.30 at home. This has been Johnny Hobart, Landry Almack, Aiden Mulligan, and Brandon Fangio reporting for MHS1. A new downtown record store has opened its doors. Here's the background on the Groovy Coop. Last fall, a new store opened in historic downtown McKinney, giving the square a groovy new twist. My name's Katie. Mm -hmm. I opened the Groovy Coop about six months ago, last August, and it's been amazing. Um, I started off as a school teacher, and I did um, a vintage business on the side and sold records and just cool stuff. And when this um, building came open down here, I just jumped on it, and it's turned into what it is now. So it's fun. I've always liked old stuff and I love music. Music is my life. So being able to share that with the public, there's nothing like this down here in McKinney and we needed some funk. We needed some fun down here. Mm -hmm. So I'm here to bring it. It's a lot of work. It's hard. Um, if you think opening a business sounds like fun, there are fun moments, but it is a lot of work. I'm here 12 hours a day, almost every day of the week. Along with retro clothes and antiques, their best selling item is vinyl. We're getting to be known as a record store and so we have repeat business and that's always fun um, but I really enjoy selling the old stuff every once in a while to somebody that it clicks with um, because all that stuff it already has a soul you know it's had a past life and now it's getting a new life and I love that it was always a dream um, I went to North Texas so um, I'm always I've always been a little out there I just really wanted to be in this area and bring a little little fun here so Let's start collecting vinyl do it this is Samantha Richards, Sydney Beck, and Caleb Hale reporting for MHS1. Gentlemen? Twister? Come here, come here. Right hand, go to class. I heard there's not going to be senior release next year. Well, I heard that a few students got Mr. Butler to clear things up. Here's Peyton Barnes, Kay Williams, and Haley Loxton with more. I've heard there's not going to be senior release next year. Well, let me get this straight. So if kids think I woke up one morning and decided that for something that's been in place for, what, 10 years, that we're going to do away with that? Not true. Not true. I heard that Mr. Butler played Frozone on The Incredibles. Before I got into education, I, I did have a brief career as an actor. Um, unfortunately, I didn't get to play Frozone, but they did kind of use me as the model when they created that character. So we're going to say partially true on that one. I heard at MHS that they're going to take away phone usage completely in the classrooms. Ding, 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 ding. We have a winner. You don't need your cell phone in class. In fact, if I get my way, when you go to the bathroom, you got to leave your cell phone because if you got to go to the bathroom, why would you take your phone in there? It's kind of gross when you think about it. I heard that Mr. Butler is pregnant. The excess weight gain I've experienced is not due to pregnancy. That's due to pizza and lots of Cokes. So unfortunately, that one's not true. Hey, you know, I heard we're going to have school uniforms next year. Not true. Not true. Not true. Not true. I've heard Mr. Butler is a fake Obama. Well, let's see. Young, slightly powerful, fairly good looking, left-handed. Yeah, that, that works. Yeah, I am the, the new Obama of McKinney High School without the fact of people trying to kill me or say they hate me on a regular basis. Hey, bro. What's up? I heard Mr. Butler dabs on his free time. Uh-oh. Dab? Mm. Dab? Not quite sure. Is that that? That? I think my middle name might be Dab, actually. And my three-year-old son is, can actually Dab as well. Following your dancing shoes with competitive swing dancer Miss Gorman, here's Maddie Cox, Riley Mulligan, and Gianna Crociato with the story. I'm Amanda Gorman. I work at McKinney High School as an English 2 teacher and the student council sponsor. My name is Joel Gorman. I'm a mechanical engineer. Uh, we've been dancing for about 12 years. 
Oh. What we do together is we do West Coast swing dancing. We, so. we know just enough of uh, salsa and ballroom and country to embarrass ourselves, but not enough to be experts in. I started when I was about two. Um, I was born pigeon-toed, and so the cheap way to fix being pigeon-toed was put me in ballet class, and I just didn't quit ever. I started in college. I, I was told it was a good way to meet girls. Well, we're usually in the studio about eight hours a week, and we practice uh, the routine in pieces, and then we put it all together, and we polish different areas, um, and then we get a lot of sleep. It's a really neat way to bring all different types of people together from all different walks of life. So um, I'm a teacher, he's an engineer, we have doctors, and all kinds of stuff. It's, it's a lot of fun to interpret music, even if you're not very good at moving your body. We don't work with a coach very often, so it's just us. So the critique has to come from each other. There are good days and bad days, and days when I'm right, and there's days when he's wrong. It, it, it's a, a lot of conflict resolution. You have to get very good at it. We're going to um, a competition called Mad Jam. It's in Washington, D.C. I and mean, it's a three-day event, and then awards are on Sunday nights, so it's kind of like a marathon. Wednesday nights, we teach a class from 7 to 9. From 8 to 9 is for brand new um, beginner baby dancers who have never danced before in their life. And if you're a newcomer, the dance is free. Um, afterwards, there's a social dance where you can practice what you learned with everybody in the class, do all different kinds of music. If you want to dance, do it. You're the only person who's stopping you. You can practice a whole time and as long as you enjoy doing it, then that's really all that matters. This has been Gianna Cruciata, Maddie Cox, and Riley Mulligan reporting for MHS One. Now we have an all-new episode of Between Two Plants. Here's Kyle McKelvey with Miss Winters. Welcome to the Teacher of the Year edition of Between Two Plants. I'm your host, Kyle McKelvey. With me I have Carl Winters. How are you? I'm great, Kale. How are you? My name's Kyle. Name's Carol Winters. Like Christmas Carol. Oh, sorry. Apologize. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll just start out with some questions. Uh, <clears throat> what's teaching like? Herding cats. I hate cats, so I have I have four. Moving on, how hard is it to win this prestigious Teacher of the Year award? It was pretty easy. I was nominated. Oh. Did you know Billy Graham was Preacher of the Year? No clue. Just kind of like Teacher of the Year. It is kind of like that. Is, is he wrong? still alive? That's a good question. I don't know. We actually, uh, we here at Between Two Plants Incorporated have decided to give you an award much much more prestigious than the one you previously previously have, have earned. Oh, how exciting! Bring it over here, Andrew. It is a Teacher of the Day award. Oh, for me? Hold that up. A little higher, actually. A little higher. Still higher. A little bit higher. Perfect. Now hold it there. All right. Um, with this award, you actually won. A week at a quaint cabin in the woods. As you can see in the background behind us. Well, that's all we have for you today. Follow us on Twitter at Mainstream News. And remember, if it's news, and it's at McKinney High School, it's, it's MHS1. MHS